When I was traveling, I received this confrontational email from a photographer. In his email, he's requesting more information about our product and the company. I read through his email quickly. Basically, he's saying the product is freaking expensive and why and how and what is the purpose of it. His last words in this email is, I'd love to hear from your team directly about the target market and the purpose of behind this product and the pricing structure. First, he gave an example of, oh, the first product I saw, it costs $1,000. But that first product is a bundle. It's basically two coffee tables together, and that costs $1,000. Then he talked about one of our product called Curvy Step. He said it's $134. That's insanely expensive for MDF boards. So I actually did a bit research on this person. He shoot mostly portraits and there's no sets, no props and no basically objects involved in his shoot. When you're a portrait photographer, your most spends are lightning and camera gears. When you're a portrait photographer, uh, have never done product shoots or build a set, you probably have no concept or ideas of how things actually cost. And uh, his question is, more reasonable if you look at that because he has never done any product photography or build sets for his shoot before. Two major factors of cost of my products are the labors and the shippings. Yes, MDF boards are not expensive, but labors and the shipping fees are very expensive at the moment. Every single product requires over 20 steps to complete. So it's not just like one layer of cutting MDF boards and then you paint it on top and that's it. Every single product has uh, multiple layers, meaning you have to cut it first and send it done and then glue them together and send it done and spackle them and then prime them and then put second layers of prime and put first layer of paint, second layer of paint and third layers of paint. And the whole process actually takes weeks to finish. Also, since the pandemic happened, shipping fee has cost four or five times X. So that's also a major factor why some of the product you think is pricey. He mentioned 3D printing in the end. And yes, you can 3D printing some of these shapes, but the quality is just not going to be the same. It's going to be really plasticky and light. So you can't lean any products on it. And the finishing is not as nice and you have to retouch and uh, editing a lot in the post. So when people say your product is very expensive, they usually have never touched my product, have never seen my product in person. And they also don't know how my products are made and the quality of my product. You can blame them if they don't understand.